Nathan Zagura here in the halls of Heinz Field where the Browns fall 20 to 13 to the Pittsburgh Steelers and go to five and seven on the season while the Steelers go to seven and five. This was a game the Browns had to have, one they needed, a must win, kind of a playoff feel and there was a playoff atmosphere here today to be sure, but they could not get it done after racing out to a 10 nothing lead when Baker Mayfield found Kareem Hunt midway through the second quarter. You thought the Browns were going to do all they had to do, but unfortunately they would yield 20 unanswered points, find themselves down 20 to 10. An Austin Seibert field goal in the fourth quarter would make it 20 to 13. And the Browns had one bit of life, a bit of hope. Money Mitchell coming up with a huge interception off of Duck Hodges, but the Browns could not move the ball at all, even though they started in Pittsburgh territory and would punt it down to the Steelers one. They could not get the stops they needed. They had one opportunity finally. They got the ball back with just over a minute to go and no timeouts. And Baker Mayfield was intercepted by Joe Hayden ending the game and the Browns suffering a huge defeat and a huge blow to whatever playoff chances remained. In this one, it was simple. The Browns could not allow big plays and yet that's exactly what they did. You go back to the end of the first half. The Steelers had the ball with Duck Hodges and less than two minutes to go and they went right down the field. Didn't even really need a minute to do it. Big plays to James Washington capping that one off. Washington finishing with four catches for 111 yards and a score. Duck Hodges 14 of 21 for over 220 yards passing. This is the guy who in his first start was 15 of 20 for just over 130 yards passing. The Browns gave up chunk plays. They could not protect the quarterback as Watt and Dupree harassed Baker Mayfield all day long. And then it came down to turnovers. The Browns would turn it over twice. The Steelers just once. The Browns turn over leading directly to three points in the middle of the game and then leading directly to the end of the game with that game ceiling interception. You had so much promise on offense. That's where all your stars are. Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry, Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, Baker Mayfield. And yet after that initial 10 points, you really couldn't move the ball at all. At one point in the game, you were four of six on third down conversions. That's when things were going well. You would go 0 of six on third down conversions the rest of the way, finishing at just four of 12. This Steelers D was dominant. They got the job done. And the Browns defense going against a quarterback that should not have been able to beat him. Well, you guess you can't say that because he did beat them. They could not get off the field. They could not stop the Steelers. In fact, the Steelers would go with that extra lineman and impose their will physically on the Browns. This is a tough defeat for what it means in the big picture, but it's a tough defeat for what happened on that field today. And I know the Browns had a lot of injuries. The guys playing on defense are not the guys you were expecting to see on the field for the Browns in the critical moments. But at the end of the day, those weren't the guys on offense for the Steelers that they expected either. And they found a way to make the plays and get the win. The Browns will have to turn it around, get ready for the Bengals who are coming off of their first win of the season at home this week. But a disappointing loss, one that deals a serious blow to any playoff chances for the Browns in 2019. For the latest on the Browns, keep it tuned to cleanbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app.